Leah Thompson, fresh off the stage and on her first date with a dinosaur. But <laughs> there were a lot of people who are big fans of Switched at Birth. Did you know it was such a big thing over here, the show? No. That was weird. That was awesome. I was very excited about that. Yeah. And many people were very interested also in how the show deals with different social themes. And is that also important to you, those aspects of the series? Well, I think so. I mean, I think it's um, what was uh, the idea is to start a dialogue between people. And the show is designed to be a, something that mothers and daughters watch together so they can talk about issues that they wouldn't normally talk about. So that obviously that worked. So that's exciting. It does, especially for this crowd. But of course, they were also here for Back to the Future. And what is it like that people are still coming up to you and are big fans of these movies and it seems it never dies? It's really awesome. It's very exciting to think of that the work you did 30 years ago still means something to somebody. That's what you that's what you're living for, you know, in this business. And I have to ask you about Howard the Duck, which is a movie you said um, many people expect you to be embarrassed about that movie, but you, uh, you love it just like many of the fans out here, right? Yeah, I do. I mean, I just feel like the people who are, you know, love Howard the Duck are the coolest people in the world because everyone has told them to hate it. So <laughs> those are my kind of people. And they persevere. They persevere. That's right. They're iconoclasts. They go against the grain. And now you're also part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is one of the biggest things in cinema right now. So maybe another Howard the Duck? I think so, but I'm sure it'll have nothing to do with me. But yes, uh, Howard the Duck was the first Marvel movie ever made. Yeah. That's true. What's up next for you? So you um, you know, Switch at Birth was, re was renewed, right? So, yes. But you don't know what you're doing in the series? Never. We never know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so that, and I'm also editing this movie that I just shot called uh, The Year of Spectacular Men. Okay, can you tell me just a little bit about that? Yeah, it's uh, just about a girl who just graduated from college and their five horrible boyfriends. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, and thank you very much. Thank you. You're lovely.